Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm reviewing Pennsylvania Dutch Birch Beer. Now, I grew up with this stuff. I love it. It is my second favorite soda of all time. My first favorite is Werner's. I've, I've mentioned this in the past, which, but I didn't really even understand what Werner's was until I graduated college when I met my wife and she took me back to her home in St. Louis, Missouri and told me about Werner's. I'd never had that before in my life. This is my second favorite uh, soda of all time. And recently, last week when I was on vacation, I went back to uh, where I grew up outside of Philadelphia. One of the places I stopped, I said, I absolutely need to go to Wawa and I absolutely need to get some Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer. In the can, I don't, although the two liter bottle is okay too, uh, in the can. I have not had this in over 15 years. So I figure this is a perfect time to review it. Now, some of you may be saying, what the heck is birch beer? Birch beer is kind of like root beer, um, but it's made from like the birch tree, the birch sap, or sometimes the birch bark. Uh, when you pour this into a glass, it's actually redder than root beer. Root beer tends to be kind of like brown. It's got caramel color, but this one tends to be a little lighter reddish brown. Um, now on the outside, it says made from an old Pennsylvanian Dutch recipe. Okay, but then on the side, it says high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, salt, natural and artificial flavors, red number 40. I, I find it very suspect that the old Pennsylvania Dutch poured in a bunch of high fructose corn syrup and red number 40. Listen to that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, uh, when you open this can, this smells like root beer, root beer barrel candies. You know those hard candies, those root beer barrel hard candies, that is what this smells like. It smells like a cross between that and a Mr. Sketch root beer uh, marker. You know the snippy uh, uh, markers? Not the, you know what I mean. The markers that sniff where like when you were a kid you were like, hey, you smell this and then you shoved it up the person's uh, nose and they got like marker all over the place. That's what this smells like. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me that uh, this must have a ton of artificial flavoring because it's probably the same types of aromas, the artificial sniffs uh, that they put in root beer things like hard candies, which contain no root beer, and uh, root beer markers, which contain no root beer, and probably like root beer scratch and sniff and all that stuff. Anyway. Let's taste this and let's see if this brings me back to Chester County, Pennsylvania in the late 90s. Let's see how this tastes. Ah. You know, this brings me back, guys. This brings me back. I have tried birch beers and root beers from a lot of different places. By the way, if you need a really good root beer, there's a, a, a brand called Virgil's Root Beer, and they sell these little mini kegs of it. Top notch. My favorite root beer by far. This brings me back to the good old days, getting a, a foot-long meatball sub, a sour cream and onion, hers, potato chips, and a Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer. Mmm. This is not good for me, but man, this is nostalgia in a can. You gotta take that with a grain of salt uh, as I give my review because I have, man, I mean, this was, this is what I drank before I could drink. Like, uh, like this is it, man. Like, I, I was never like, oh yes, give me a Coke or a Pepsi or a Mountain Dew or whatever. When I grew up, it was always this, Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer, or a, uh, or a fribble at Friendly's. That's basically all I imbibed. This is amazing. I can't even give it a rating. It's all I would say is that this tastes exactly how I remembered it, or at least how I built it up in my mind. And, uh, and I just like it. And, I, and I'm glad that I got I bought a whole case of it. I'm so glad I got it. This brings me back and I love it. Question of the day. So if I were to give a review, just, you know, bring on the criticism because I'm going to say five star rating because this thing is amazing uh, because it just it, it brings me back. I love it, guys. 
Um, question of the day. What did you, what name like a food or a drink that you loved as a child? What, what, what will give, you saw the reaction I had when I drank this. What would give you that reaction? And if you're a child, you really shouldn't be watching my show. But if you are a child and you're watching my show, what do you like right now? Just please tell me it's not kid cuisine or Lunchables. Leave it in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I will have frozen food reviews starting next week. You know, I was on vacation last week. Today, just today, I went to Walmart and I grabbed a whole bunch of new things to review. I will be reviewing those this weekend and publishing them next week. So stay tuned for those. I will see you tomorrow.